The succession plan for Kirk Cousins has always been a huge talker among Viking fans, so when they drafted Jaron Hall, quarterback, out of BYU, well, that just added fuel to the fire. But let's take a look at the film and see what style of quarterback Jaron Hall truly is, and really whether or not he has the potential to enter into this conversation. So when we take a look at Jaron Hall, the first thing we want to talk about is athleticism. One of the things that we heard was how athletic of a quarterback he is. But the question is, can he be a runner at the NFL level? So let's take a look. This first play is really just a nice read option type of play. They're reading the number 15, the outside linebacker on the left-hand side of your screen. And what you're going to see is on the snap of the ball, a tight end, 83, will pull it across the formation. And Hall will look to, th look to hand it off to the running back. But as he's doing that, you can see how he's, he's watching 15. If 15 chases the running back, then he's going to pull it down and he's going to run. In this case, 15 does collapse and chase. And then you get to see him move, reading some blocks, getting north and south. He runs well, but he's not a huge Adrian Peterson type cut. He's not, I don't think, a pure running back. He's a very athletic quarterback, but he's not quite, I think, a pure runner that can just run at the NFL level an option style of offense. Okay, another example of Jaron Hall's athleticism. You're going to see this play. Nice little trickery. Shotgun. Throw it to the outside. Hall just kind of hangs out. But when he catches this pass, you'll notice he's got all of his blockers in front of him. Really, an army of them. As he gets down the field, he has the patience now to stay behind him. You never want to overrun. But right when he gets to that goal line, you'd like to see that, that cut back into the end zone. Stays behind. Stays on his feet. So really, still a great athlete. But again, I don't think... He's a pure runner for an option style of offense. Now let's start to take a look at Hall as a passer because this is obviously where he's going to make his hay in the NFL. On this first play, you're going to see there are five guys on the line of scrimmage. He sees this right away and knows it's zone blitz. So all he's going to do is watch the underneath coverage. This is a quick, easy throw. Yes, quick, easy throw. However, pre-snap awareness was huge on this play. Now on this next one, we're gonna take a look from the end zone because I think it gives you a good idea just how quickly things are happening. But watch to the right of your screen. You can see the linebacker pointing outside, saying, yeah, there's a receiver out there and I'm responsible for him. But as Hall gets to the top of his drop, he looks to his right, he immediately sees that move by the wide receiver. He knows where that mismatch is. You've got a fast body against a linebacker. He works his way inside and gets that ball right to him, right where it's supposed to be, the accuracy. That's what's coming next. Now we're going to start building on what he's already done. We've seen him do. This is another form of RPO, but it's mainly in passing. And so what he's going to do is he's watching number five, the linebacker, from uh, University of South Florida. If he steps up, he's gonna get that receiver right behind him. So as you see, when the ball snapped, he's gonna just play fake it to that running back, but his vision the entire time is going to be on that linebacker. As soon as that linebacker steps up, that hole right about where the officials stand, and there's that big hole in the field that's gonna open up, and he knows exactly where to go with the football. Pulls that thing back, delivers that football in stride. All right, this next play by Jaron Hall is huge, and I think this epitomizes what he is capable of at the next level. And if he can accomplish this at the next level, he is going to be and may very well be a good quarterback. So what's going on here? You look at third and long against Oregon, and if you watch before the snap, you'll see the outside linebacker, the inside linebacker at the top of your screen. They're faking like it's going to be a blitz. They're trying to get the offensive line to turn that way. However, they send some pressure off the backside. So as Hall gets to the top of his drop, he starts to feel this pressure. But by the time it gets there, none of his receivers are even past the sticks. So he's going to have to buy himself some time. And this is what's great because this is a defensive back on the outside. Don't forget. So he pulls this thing down, makes a move, breaks contain, gets to the outside. And as he starts to get to the outside, he keeps his eyes downfield, throws the football, Complete pass, first down. A huge, huge play where he's using his athleticism to defeat the blitz, extend the play, and move the chains. 
So on this next place, here's an example of just awareness as far as route concepts and what they want to do. He's lined up, they have a three by one, you have three receivers to his right. And you get a little bit of a fake of the blitz by the nickel, but then he drops out and when the ball is snapped, you'll see that this tight end is running right up the middle of the field. His job is to gobble up the inside linebacker. The outside receiver is able to get outside of that nickel defender and right as he gets past him, he bends that route in right behind him that open area because the tight end cleared that linebacker. Now the other thing whenever we're looking at an NFL quarterback is can he make the long throw on the outside? This I think is a great example of what he's capable of in that respect. You'll see he has two receivers at the top of his screen. This is just a simple speed out or out route. As you see the receiver gets up the field, presses the corner, and then right about at the 38 yard line, he turns himself to look back. You have a flat defender going out there. So there's some traffic in the area, but Hall is able to get that football from the near hash at the bottom of your screen all the way across the field to about the 40 yard line or so but he does it very, very accurately. There are not a lot of quarterbacks at the NFL level that can make this throw consistently, and Hall does a great job on this play. He's accurate enough to throw the out routes to the long field, and if a quarterback can do that, that's huge. All right, another example of this against Oregon, you can see here, watch the receiver at the bottom of your screen. He's gonna get up to about the 40 yard line and when he st sets his feet and turns his head outside, that ball is already on its way. So the receiver is able to turn, the ball is already on its way, so Hall has the accuracy, he knows, he has the anticipation as well, and he does it pretty consistently. Now this is another great example of awareness, pre-snap awareness this time, because Hall sends the running back out into the flat and as that running back goes out wide, you see who covers him. The linebacker, the inside linebacker covers him, and that's important because when the linebacker goes all the way outside the formation, you know he's not going to play that position like a corner. He's not going to jam and play cover two. He's going to vacate that zone. That matters, and Hall knows it. Why? Because watch the number three, the inside receiver. He works his way up the field. Hall knows that that flat is going to be vacated. So he's able to throw this football right on the money where the receiver can catch it in stride and then be able to turn this thing up and get into the end zone. Now we're gonna get into the next section of, I think, Hall's game. It's the stop fade. Now you don't even, again, you don't see a lot of NFL quarterbacks doing the stop fade, but you watch at the bottom of your screen, again, against Oregon, the receiver releases to the outside. He's covered, right? He's covered, looks back, the DB is high on him. He can't get behind him. There's no reason to throw this fade. So Hall, from the far hash all the way to the near side of this field, throws what? The back shoulder fade. This is one of the deadliest throws and one of the hardest to defend as a, as a cornerback because you don't know if that ball is going deep or if it's coming back. The receiver, the timing, the accuracy again on this long throw. Does he have the strongest arm in the world? No but he's accurate and he knows where to go with the football and his timing is very, very good. This play is almost impossible to defend. All right, so how about down the field? Well, here we go. This is a nice RPO style of play. So they're giving it the run play action up front, but watch this receiver at the bottom of the screen. He has off coverage. He works his way up the field and as Hall gets to the top of his drop and turns and looks deep, he sees and knows that that receiver is going to split the corner and the safety deep, right? Middle open, he's going to get there. He's going to split this. And Hall throws a perfect pass deep down the field, gets the receiver in stride. So he has that accuracy as well deep down the field. All right, so we saw the post. What about the fade? This is a beautiful red zone fade route at the bottom of your screen. Watch this wide receiver. is going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Again, Hall, top of his drop. He sees that cornerback settling, and look where this ball is thrown beautifully over the outside shoulder of that wide receiver. He's able to catch that football. Amazing touch on some of the deep balls, especially the fade. Now, play number 18 is another example of a fade, and I included the end zone view just to see really how remarkable this throw really truly is. So you'll see Hall at the middle of your screen. He's gonna take the snap. Now, he, fit, he drops himself back to almost the 40 yard line. Keep that in mind. So from the 40 yard line, he plants, throws, watch this touch and accuracy on this receiver. That ball hits the receiver in the hands at the 10 yard line, 
right over his shoulder. Perfect throw. Now, the receiver drops it in this case, but it's not on the quarterback, and I guarantee you he throws that ball to Justin Jefferson or K.J. Osborne or Addison, that's going to be a reception and probably a touchdown, but just a fantastic 50-yard throw from the quarterback. And finally, some more from the accuracy getting down the field department. You'll see Hall in this case, it's another. It's a good play fake, good run fake, right? Fakes the ball to the running back, gets to the top of his drop, but watch the tight end of the top of your screen. When that tight end gets to about the 10 yard line, you would think he's going to run a post, but there's a safety right there. So there's no way he's gonna do that. Hall throws this football right to the back shoulder. He's able to go up and get that football. So tremendous amount of anticipation and then accuracy deep down the field off the play fake. Hall's got that down the field accuracy. The speed of the game is going to change. He's going to have to adjust to it. But I think with his athleticism and his ability to continue plays, make things happen, get himself down the field, that is going to be his key to success in the NFL.